in my previous lectures, uh, we talk about um, addiction, dependence, gateway drugs, and how the children are addicted. Now, I want to focus on why some people, in spite of um, using drug, never get addicted. And some people who expose get addicted. First of all, as I mentioned in my earlier talk, that this is a disease, this is a medical condition. These conditions affect the brain. And it is shown in studies that the people who have addiction has a change neurocircuitry mechanism. So it's, it's a damage in the brain. But why that damage doesn't occur to every individual? The answer is 50% nature and 50% nurture. What that implies, certain people have a genetic tendency, like certain people have a tendency to become diabetic. Certain people have a tendency to become hypertensive. And people who become hypertensive, they blame, oh, I'm eating more salt. On the other hand, other a person may be eating more salt, but he's not hypertensive because his body has a capacity to release salt. On the other hand, other person may have a capacity not to release enough salt from the body and retain the salt. In the same way, one person uh, may have a capacity to gain weight. Other person, in spite of eating, do not gain weight. Another person get diabetes and he or she thinks I get diabetes because I was lazy. Of course, all these environmental factors also contribute. Uh, we, 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 uh, we do not just want to say that if you, in spite of you control salt, you will get uh, or do not get hypertension. If you control salt, chances are you, you will, um, you may not develop or develop at a later stage uh, of, of life. In the same way, this is a genetic condition. There is this genetic prevalence of certain uh, individual. That is called 50% nature and 50% nurture. It means if a person has a genetic tendency, then that person addicted very quickly. Uh, you will see some people smoke one cigarette and they hook to it. Other people smoke many cigarettes and they still can stop it. One person take a, a one drink of alcohol and the rest of the life they, they are drinking because they have a genetic tendency. And it has shown people have a different metabolism in their body of certain drugs, of, of alcohol. So it's very important to understand that certain individuals are more prone to addiction. If those individuals exposed to gateway drug, if those individuals exposed to drug, they are at high risk to become addicted. But again, if we need to prevent them, we need to prevent at a gateway level. Once they are addicted, now they have a condition, they have a medical disease, they, they are, their brain has a change in the neurosecretary mechanism. Now they need treatment, not punishment, not blame. So once they are addicted, once they reach to that stage where they are using drug just to make things normal, just to function, just to go out to work, they need oxycodone. Just to go out and work, they need heroin. At that level, they need treatment. And the treatment is definitely dependent on the severity of the, of the individual, which we will talk about it, different forms of treatment, what options they have. But in this uh, lecture, I just want to explain that if you uh, didn't get addicted, you did not have genes, so you are lucky but you cannot use the same um, theory to the other person or even to your own child that I didn't get addicted. Why my, my, my son or daughter is addicted? Maybe she is carrying that type of gene. So it's very important that once the person is addicted, that person needs treat, uh, treatment, not punishment.